So we got eight of the PFCs and we got two of the ABRs. And the biggest difference between these is that these are all pure sine wave and those are modified sine wave. I've got this plugged into the back into the battery and if I connect it, you can see we have a sine wave. So it is going up and down and up and down like a rolling hill. So that's a pure sine wave. And if I disconnect, you can see it is still providing that rounded sine wave. So that's exactly what we want. So now I've got the AVR and it is plugged in. If I measure it now, you can see that it is in fact a sine wave and that's because it's basically running directly through the power supply. Now we're pulling off of battery power. So here you can see that positive 120 volts and that negative 120 volts. So there is no gradual increase up to that top peak. It's just 100% positive, 100% negative. There is no rolling hill. So I'm gonna be using for a load as a computer, really old computer, monitor. My phone is gonna be charging. It's all gonna be running through this adapter. And that is pulling just under hundred watts. So with the PFC ups in, I'm pulling 19 watts when I turn it on. But it's staying at 18 watts, which is 0.3 amps. So I plug this one into here. So you can see it is daisy chained into the battery power for this one. And we are now at 35 watts, which is 0.642 amps. Okay, so now you have five of them, and I'm pulling 87 watts. All right, so now I have eight of them. And they're all daisy chained. And we are pulling about 140 watts, or 2.2 amps. Now I'm gonna plug in my computer. We went from 140 to 222. So with the whole setup, we're pulling 222 watts, which is about three amps. So I'm just gonna let it sit like this for a couple hours and let it fully top off. And then we're gonna unplug power and we're gonna see exactly what this does. All right, so these are all now fully charged and it is currently pulling 196 watts, 2.807 amps. take a while this is saying that at this load it's good for 153 minutes but another weird thing is this one's saying 52 minutes all right so it was at about 50 minutes and three seconds and this one shut down which shut our computer down so even though all the rest of these still have power it doesn't matter because our computer is not running anymore. So that completely defeats the purpose of all the rest of these. So what is interesting is these four right here still think that they're running off of mains power. These four are essentially running off of that one. So that's the way it should have worked. It should have been that one dies first, then that one, then that one, then that one. But because this wasn't able to supply enough power for this one, this one went to battery and it just depleted itself which shut our computer down. So the next thing I want to know is when I plug this back in, it's going to pass through power to all of these and they're all going to try to pull power. So how many amps is that actually going to pull if they all try to power themselves up at the same time? Essentially, if this was able to work in the correct way where it goes bang, 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 and it managed to drop all the power and then later on the power kicked back on, would it blow the breaker? That's what I want to know. So I've got at least four that are depleted. So how many amps is that gonna pull when I plug that back in? It's about one amp, which actually isn't that much. All right, going up, going up. So we're looking at about two and a half amps to charge four ups which really isn't that much so theoretically if these were able to provide power to each other enough power to run like that uh, you wouldn't have to worry about blowing a breaker providing you don't have too much plugged into that circuit 
Okay, so now we got everything powered back on and we're plugged into a single ups. And I want to see how much time I can get with the exact same setup with one ups. And this is fully charged, pulling about 97 watts currently. So we actually got more time. We got 58 minutes using one. Now I'm pretty sure that just variation in the amount of power that these things can hold. So I mean, they're not gonna be exactly perfect all the same, but with eight of them in a row, we got 53 minutes and a single unit gave 58 minutes with everything the same. So, fooled me, but uh, yeah, that's the way it is. Now, something that might be more practical, because I don't think anybody's ever going to actually connect eight, but I could see people connecting two. I want to see if two will be more effective than trying to connect eight of them, and then possibly having that actually cause the problem in itself. So there we go. It lasted 55 minutes and four seconds. This one shut off. This one took over, the computer is still running. So using two together does definitely work the way that I expected. There we go. An hour, 55 minutes and 51 seconds. So it definitely works when you have two of them in line. So I'm not entirely sure still why eight didn't work, but two does work. I suspect it has something to do with the fact that this one was 121 volts and it dropped to 118 when it went on battery power from here. So it probably compounds down as you add more ups to it. But uh, if you feel like you have a better explanation for why it did that, feel free to let me know.